In this video, we'll be going over the basic flow of an EDI order process. EDI is commonly used in the buying and selling of products. If you're the manager of a store, you want to be able to purchase products from a supplier in a quick, efficient, and reliable way. If you're the supplier, you want to maintain effective communication with your customers, so you'll continue to get their business. In our previous video, EDI Explained, we went over a few of the X12 transactions commonly used in the manufacturing and retail industries. One of these transactions was the 850, or purchase order. To review, the 850 is sent from the buyer to the seller to communicate what they're going to buy, the quantity, shipment date, and terms of payment. From the perspective of a company's ERP system, an inbound purchase order is called a sales order. In contrast, a purchase order going out from the ERP system is called a purchase order, or PO for short. In this video, we'll look at the process from the perspectives of both the seller and the buyer to get a good understanding of the customer order process flow. First, let's look at the sales order process. In this scenario, you're the supplier. Your customer, trading partner A, sends their outbound purchase order. When you receive the PO, it becomes a sales order, also called an inbound purchase order. After the sales order goes through communications, EDI mapping, and is imported into the ERP system, the order is then confirmed by someone in customer service. Once confirmed, the sales order triggers a firm order within the ERP and produces the various processes within the warehouse module to create the product that was ordered by the customer. The warehouse team then assembles the product. Once the product has been assembled, it's ready to be shipped. Once it's been shipped, the ERP triggers a shipment notice, also known as an Advanced Ship Notice, or 856, to be sent to the customer. It's essential that the customer receives the shipment notice before the truck arrives. Once the truck is on its way, the ERP generates an invoice, also known as an 810, which is then sent to the customer to request payment. This completes the sales order process. Now that we've seen the sales order process, let's look at the purchase order process. This is considered supplier-side EDI. In this scenario, you're the customer. When your ERP is low on supplies, either it triggers a purchase order or customer service manually triggers one. Once the supplier receives the purchase order, they send back a purchase order acknowledgement, 855, to you. The 855 can accept or reject the entire order. It also can accept with exceptions. For example, the product may arrive late, or they might not have the requested quantity. After receiving the 855, you wait to receive the 856, confirming that the truck is on the way. Once the truck arrives, you need to confirm that you've received what the supplier said they would get you. You do this by scanning the product and matching the scanned labels with the UPC codes contained within the 856. If the supplier didn't send the product correctly, you can charge them in what is called a chargeback. Once you've received the invoice, you must pay for the product, which can happen in one of three ways. One, you pay whatever is on the invoice. Two, you ignore the invoice and pay what you calculate or agree to. Or three, you pay the invoice but then subtract chargebacks. This completes the purchase order process. Whether you're a seller or a customer, you need to be sure you have a reliable EDI system. This is where Data Communication Solutions, or DCS for short, comes in. Our EDI specialists can install an EDI system for you, or help you to better maintain the one you have. We also offer a free assessment to help you determine the best course for your company. 
If you're looking for the best EDI solution, visit our website at dcsedi.com and connect with us today.